Today, we have a fascinating topic to dive into. Yeast. You know, that tiny organism responsible for the softness of bread, the distinctive fragrance of wine, and the delectable qualities of fermented food sol owe their appeal to yeast. Despite being praised for these culinary delights, yeast often faces criticism for its perceived impact on health. The prevailing belief is that yeast is detrimental, leading to numerous articles and videos on avoiding its incorporation into food. However, is yeast truly harmful? Let's dispel myths and reshape your understanding of this minuscule organism. Harnessed for centuries in the processes of fermentation, brewing, and baking, yeast, a microscopic fungus, emerges as a versatile entity in both culinary and scientific arenas. As a member of the fungi kingdom, particularly Saccharomyces cerevisiae, for baking and brewing, yeast plays a crucial role in fermentation. This transformative process involves converting sugars into carbon dioxide and alcohol, contributing to the rise of bread and the creation of various beverages. Beyond its culinary applications, yeast encompasses a diverse family of strains, with both beneficial and potentially harmful members extending its influence into medicinal and industrial realms. In this context, we'll concentrate on yeast's role in common foods. What yeast is utilized in food? Here are three commonly employed yeasts. The trio of prevalent yeast strains in food production include Saccharomyces cerevisiae baker's yeast, Saccharomyces pastorianus brewer's yeast, and Toriolaspera dolbrutsky. Baker's yeast is crucial for leavening bread and enhancing nutritional content. Brewer's yeast excels in fermenting beer at lower temperatures. And Toriolaspera dolbrutsky enhances wine aromas, contributing to the complexity of wine flavors. Is yeast beneficial or harmful? Here's some encouraging news. Yeast offers more health benefits than adverse effects. Despite being commonly employed in baking and beverage fermentation, Yeast belongs to the fungi kingdom, challenging the belief that all fungi are harmful. Certain types of yeast are actually beneficial for health. Is yeast good for health? Yeast's key benefit lies in its nutrient-rich profile. A study in the National Library of Medicine highlights yeast as a significant source of B vitamins, crucial for energy metabolism, nerve function, and overall well-being. Additionally, Yeast provides essential amino acids necessary for building and repairing tissues. As revealed in a study published in the Journal of Microbiology and Biotechnology, it also supplies vital minerals like selenium, zinc, and iron, essential for various physiological functions. Certain yeast strains, especially Saccharomyces cerevisiae, act as probiotics promoting a balanced gut microbiome by fostering the growth of beneficial bacteria. Yeast's abundance in folate promotes skin and hair health, supports cell division, red blood cell formation, and overall health, preventing anemia. Yeast's nutrient-rich composition bolsters the immune system, offering anti-inflammatory effects. Despite yeast's nutritional benefits, there is a downside. For the average person, Moderate consumption of yeast-containing foods can be part of a healthy diet. Whole grain bread and fermented foods, like yogurt with live cultures, can contribute to gut health. However, individuals with compromised immune systems or a history of yeast infections should consult healthcare providers. It's crucial to strike a balance. Incorporating yeast-containing foods into your diet can offer nutritional benefits. But being mindful of factors that may contribute to yeast overgrowth is equally important. As with any dietary component, moderation is key. And there you have it, the truth about yeast, a versatile, nutrient-packed ingredient that deserves its place in our kitchens. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. Until next time, happy cooking!